Hey guys, Photoshop Pro help here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create some amazing Christmas lights. Now, quite a few of my fans have asked me to make this tutorial, and I know this tutorial has been done by someone else. Now, that someone else is my good friend, so it's all fine. So let's go and have a look at what we're actually creating within this image. So as we can see, some really lovely, brightly coloured lights, and you can have these colours of anything you want, so you don't have to choose the same ones as I'm going to do. So as we can see, these lovely little coloured dots all around the um, windows and the buildings. Now this doesn't just work on this sort of image right here, it works on anything. So let's go and click on and off and show you what it originally looked like. So as I, as I can show you there. And we're going to go and have a look at a few other images that this works on. So let's go through them. So as we can see, this lovely tree doesn't just work on buildings, works on trees as well, and is really nicely coloured. So we have bright orange for this. As I said, any colour that you want. And let's just go through them. And as you can see, works on any sort of image possible. So let's go to the original that we worked with. So first things first is we need to go and make a new blank layer. So bottom right hand side, click the new blank layer icon. And then we're going to go and choose our colours. So go to the colour palette. And from here, what we're going to do is go and choose our colour. But if you're going to go and choose like pinks, blues, greens or any colour that you want, make sure it is the brightest colour within the colour palette. And we can do that by going to the top right hand side of the colour palette. And that will be the top brightest colour within that palette. So click OK once we have done that and then go and select our other colour which I've chosen a bright green. You can go for any colour that you want. Click the paintbrush tool on the left hand side after you've done that and we're going to go and play around with the settings. So go to window at the top and then click brush or it might be already laid out for you on the right hand side. So let's go and click that. And we're going to go and play around with a few of these settings. And the first one is size. So the size of your brush. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to work out what sort of size brush we need. So if we're painting in some far away buildings, we need the lights to be quite small. And then as the picture is getting nearer to the camera, we're going to go and bring up the size and that makes the lights bigger. So it's all in proportion and we have the right ratio. So the next thing we're going to do is spacing. Now the spacing is depending on your taste. So I don't want them too clustered because the lights are not clustered together when you're putting them up. They're on a strand and they're quite far apart. So I brought the spacing up to 68% but you can play around with that. The next thing we're going to do is play around with scattering. So click scatter. What we're going to do is put a light scatter on this, so for around about 30%, and make sure that you have both axes clicked off. Next thing, we're going to bring down the count to 1, and the count jitter to 0%, so we need them to be right down. The next thing, go to Color Dynamics, and what this does is it tells Photoshop that it can switch between the foreground and background colour. So the two colours that we've chosen and we're not going to keep on one colour. So we can go and bring that foreground slash background year all the way up to 100% and then all the others need to be 0%. Then hide that and we can start work. Now we can go mental on this, we can go and paint everything that we need to. So we can zoom in. And if you're painting a straight line of lights, we can hold down shift on our keyboard after clicking once and then click again. And as you can see, it's making loads of lines and we can keep clicking. And then just keep going. I'm just doing this very quickly just to show you. So I'm not going to go and do the whole of the image because you've already seen the original. So the next thing we need to do is go and add the brightly coloured lights to the centre. So we can do that by double clicking that layer. And then go into inner glow. Once on inner glow, put, put the blending mode sorry, to normal. Bring up the opacity to 100%. We're going to change the colour to brightly coloured white. 
go to the source and click as center bring down the size to zero we want the contour of the quality to be this one right here this lovely little curve so that is going to be Gaussian so click that anti-analyze clicked on and we can play around with the range now so the range is going to be the size of the actual bulb so as you can see of the image we can play around with that so it's really on your taste you can play around and then click OK now once you have done that we're going to go and change the blending mode of this layer so click the blending mode and then we can go and play around with color dodge linear dodge or overlay or just go through them until you can see which one works best for you so I'm going to go for linear dodge or color dodge so color dodge works well for me so I'm going to keep it with that and we can keep on painting in the different colors so anywhere that we need to and it will just apply with that so as you can see I'm just painting in and then obviously you can just click once or twice to put a few bulbs in it's really up to you and we're going to go bring down the fill of that layer so not the opacity the fill and just bring that down so if I bring it down too far it goes and we don't want to go too far so around about 71% for this that should be okay but it really depends on your picture at the time so go and play around with that and see what you can create so as I said play around with the colors and that's it you can create some amazing and spectacular colored lights with this so that's all you need to do don't forget to change the size of your brush if you're working on further away buildings to nearer ones and go and show me all your results and uh, please have a happy christmas please go and check out the website comment rate and subscribe go check out facebook and um, google plus and there's some great t-shirts going on Spreadshirt and the link will be after this video so go and check out the new designs from Photoshop Pro help and I'll see you next time guys bye for now